you're thinking about living in Kaneohe, then this video is definitely for you. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of living in Kaneohe. We're actually standing in the mall parking lot right now. We got the mall behind us. You can see a little bit of the mountains. We got Ridge here today, and we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons to help you decide if you really wanna live in Kaneohe. <music> What's going on you guys? My name is Ryan Strong. I'm a real estate agent out here in Hawaii on Oahu. And if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about living in Hawaii, everything Hawaii has to offer. As I mentioned, we are in Kaneohe today. We got all kinds of videos like this on this channel where we do vlog tours. We're out in the communities. We're showing you the communities, getting out of the office, no green screens here. We're doing it all in the communities. So if that sounds like you're interested, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime we upload a new video. I got Ridge here today, as I mentioned before. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Ridge. Hey guys, so I'm a mortgage lender here in Honolulu. Um, I do VA loans, conventional, FHA, and USD loans and so one of the things that we like that ridge has lived here for quite a while but if you're thinking about making that move to hawaii you can give us a call shoot us a text send us an email however you want to get a hold of us all right we got your back when moving to hawaii and ridge is also on all these calls as well so basically we can cover every area of the island everything he's experienced everything i've experienced growing up here talk about numbers everything and anything that you want to know we got your back One of the major pros of this side of the island is all of the outdoor adventures. So we have Kaneohe Bay, which is, so we're in Kaneohe, and then you have Kaneohe Bay that's, that's directly adjacent to Kaneohe, that, that kind of sits in between where the actual city of Kaneohe is, and then Marine Corps Base Hawaii. Um, there's a great sandbar out there that's beautiful. There's lots of opportunities to rent boats, kayaks, paddle boards to get out there. Um, we also have, and you can see in the background, we've got some mountains. There's a lot of great, uh, a lot of great hiking, a lot of great waterfalls um, that would be a major pro of this because we are set away on the other side of the island from Honolulu um, right up against the mountains and super green there's a lot of rain um, you know which can be a con but you know it also keeps the island super green over here as well so that's a that's a pro with that you can definitely tell it's windy. Uh, it's definitely a cloudy day, and this is almost typical for Kaneohe. It's like as soon as you cross the Koala Mountains, it's, you, it's just a total different environment. Um, but definitely outdoor life here is just the best. Come over here for most of the waterfall hikes and those types of things. If you look up on Instagram, you'll see all the stuff is mainly in this area on this side. We touched on the weather. Uh, on the other side of the island, it's going to be sunnier. Um, and and a, a lot of the reason, the you know, we're on a relatively small island and, and you can go, you know, maybe 10 or 15 miles or, or maybe even less than that and have dramatically different weather patterns. A lot of that has to do with the way the mountains are and, and the way the clouds sit there. So that's going to be a major consideration whenever you're thinking about one part of the island versus, versus another. Um, along with that, that kind of feeds into tourism. It's not that Kaneohe isn't super well known, just a lot of the, the stuff that people see on Instagram from you know a tourist perspective, they're going to see like you know uh, different beaches around. And, and that doesn't bring a lot of tourism over here. It's not to say there aren't tourists here, but I would say compared to other parts of the island, there's less tourists here. One of the cons is nightlife. There is not a lot of nightlife in Kaneohe. Nightlife in general in Oahu isn't that great. Uh, you really gotta be in Waikiki to experience, I guess, any of it. There may be some dive bars, there's some uh, karaoke bars out here, but as far as nightlife goes, there's not a ton of nightlife in Kaneohe. I've done a few of the karaoke bar type of things out here, but there's no like nightclubs and things like that over here. Yeah, so to touch on that with nightlife, that kind of feeds into other amenities. So. Um, in Kaneohe, you still have grocery stores where obviously um, in the mall parking lot, you, you have everything you need from, you know, whether you need to go to kind of like a dollar store type place or you want to go to Subway or an auto parts store. But a lot of the big box stores are going to be on the other side of the island or you would go into Kailua um, down the way to get to somewhere like a Target. Yeah, there's uh, Foodland, there's Longs, there's Safeways, there's places like that. But it's like you were saying, there's no Targets or Walmarts out 
out here in Kaneohe. Uh, there is a mall, but you gotta go to Kailua or town or somewhere else to do that. One of the pros would be that you do have a mall in Kaneohe. There's plenty of shopping centers, um, but there is a big mall right here where there's a Macy's, Ruby Tuesdays, plenty of restaurants and things to eat. But that would definitely be a pro if you're looking for a place to shop and you don't want to go to town or you don't want to go to the west side where we have the mall in Kapolei or Pearl Ridge. Pearl Ridge is a pretty busy place and I don't really even like going there. I talked about how there's not a lot of tourism over here and, and you can look at that in two ways. You, you can think of that as a con because a lot of the reason there's tourists in certain parts of the island are because there's certain things that are super scenic or, or attractions. I would look at that personally as a pro for me because you're in Kaneohe and, and you're wanting to get from point A to point B whether that's from work or to the grocery store or take your kids to school or whatever it may be. There's not going to be as much congestion from a traffic standpoint or lines in restaurants or, or the mall or whatever it may be. It's not to say that it's not there, but it's relative, right? So compared to other parts of the island, it's going to be significantly less. Yeah, Kailua is always jam-packed. If you're trying to go to Lanikai or any of those places over there that you always see, it's gonna be jam-packed. But Kailua is just like completely other side, separate. It's its own little uh, hometown kind of place. And you can also look at that at um, you can look at that almost at, as a, another pro in the fact of you we are on an island at the end of the day and, and it's easy to kind of lose perspective of that um, you know just because we look at all the different areas as, as their own complete different zones but if you're in Kaneohe and you want to go down to the beaches um, in Kailua or you want to go to the other side of the island at the end of the day you know we're really talking about less than an hour drive to to all the different places you want to get to one of the pros though i will say is your access to north shore if you enjoy the north shore uh, there's mm -hmm. places out there you got kualoa ranch we just talked about chinaman's hat um, if you want to get to laie and some other places in the north shore you do have a lot easier access and easier time getting up there versus where i live in eva beach where it's an hour drive for me to get for to sure. haleiwa or if i want to go even farther up to puku care or anything like that so you have definitely easy access but talking about access one of the cons is going to be beach access there's no real beach access around here yeah for sure so again you have Kaneohe Bay and the sandbar um, which is beautiful and I mean it basically functions as a beach at low tide you do need a boat to get out to it outside of that you're gonna have to drive up the east side to get to the north shore um, somewhere around Sunset Beach which uh, you'll, you'll be able to see on a map but that's where you're gonna start getting into good beaches uh, going the other direction, you would have to go down to Kailua to get to to start getting in the beaches. Um, and then, it, if you're not looking for the North Shore or for Kailua side, then you're going across the mountains to get over to either the South Shore or somewhere on the West side to find a beach. This could be a pro or a con. You always have to do your due diligence when it comes to schools. We always talk about using niche.com or greatschools.org for your education searches, right? So, um, Hawaii Pacific University is actually in Kaneohe. We'll pull up the map and show you. It's it's basically on the border between we're, we're right before you hit the uh, road sorry to go to Kailua that's where I went to college and I graduated college so that is a university out here um, they also have the marine biology for University of Hawaii out here too but as far as grade schools go there's plenty of schools out here uh, preschools middle schools and stuff like that you just have to do your own due diligence so whether that's a pro or a con would totally be up to you just remember that these are not the end-all be-all definitive grades for these schools. Talk to people like us or anybody else that you may know out here and more about the schooling systems and what they recommend. Major pro is the proximity to Marine Corps Base Hawaii. I was an active duty Marine out here. This was my last duty station. I got out from here um, and I, I have lived in Kaneohe myself, not for a super long time, but right when I got to the island, I lived here. And I know a major pro with that was I was 10 minutes from base, like, and, and that's getting all the way through through the front gate. So that is a major pro. If you're looking at, you know, maybe you're gonna be on a different military installation. There's quite a few military installations on Oahu. Um, you might be at Schofield or uh, Hickam or somewhere like that. You know, you would want to take that into account as far as your commute from Kaneohe over to the west side. If you are military and you're trying to figure out where those bases are, we have a video about that too where we plot them on the map so you can definitely go check that out. One of the cons may be the job market out here. 
So we are at the mall and there's tons of shopping centers and things like that, but this isn't necessarily the big business district um, with a ton of hospitals and places that you're gonna find a lot of work. So a lot of these are just local stores, local restaurants and small time uh, retail uh, industry, but it's not a huge job market in Kaneohe. So if you are working in Honolulu, there are ways. So turning that into one of the pros really, of if you do work in town and you're trying to get to town, there's a couple different ways you can even get down to town if you decide you wanted to live here and work down there. You can take H3, go down H3, you can take the Poly and you can take the Like all the way down to get to town. Three different points of access that are gonna get you there pretty quickly, relatively. So it depends though, traffic's always a problem. Anybody does anything on any of these roads, breaks down, tire pops, traffic is done. I say that in every video, it's the truth. And of course, we gotta talk about real estate. This could be a pro or a con, depending on how you see it. I've shown and sold plenty of homes over here to know that you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck out here in Kaneohe. Um, one of the homes, and we were just talking about this too, that I showed was over 7,000 square feet of land. Uh, the home necessarily was a little bit dated, which is one of the cons for me. And that might be the same thing for you if you're not looking to buy a fixer-upper type style home or an older uh, island style home cottage, right? Is that yeah, for sure. And, and so that would be a con, but to another person that might be a pro. So if you're potentially looking at, you maybe your goal is to buy a home that you know is livable but is dated or needs to be renovated that would be a good opportunity to purchase a home um, at, at not not at, at the price level of a fully renovated or brand new or maybe not even brand new maybe just a newer home like you would in a different area of the island there's a lot more homes over here that you would have an opportunity uh, to potentially fix up or renovate exactly and I've had clients that literally are like I won't live anywhere else but Kanye hey they're okay with the style of homes they absolutely love the weather the areas and everything about it that we've talked about even some of the things that we may have mentioned that were cons, they saw them as pros and that's okay. You might be thinking the same thing. So that's gonna do it for our pros and cons video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like that video and you're looking for more content, it is all on this channel, everything that you need to know. You just gotta hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. And like we said in the beginning, tons of people calling, texting, emailing, setting up their appointments with a Zoom link down in the description, getting a hold of us. We're both on these calls helping you with everything that you need to know about moving to Hawaii and some other videos that I mentioned, vlog tours, everything about Hawaii are gonna start popping up right now.